they just use the Yules. Crit finds the lift, but can they find any more? The X, the Torrent, he's going to Yules himself, keeping himself away from that boat, but there is a heck of a lot of heroes right after him, and the Chain Frost, they're able to walk away from it, though, popping that Haster and Somnus dodges away from the arrow as well. Chalice still living through this and thinking about one, take the fight. There's going to be the ulti down. The Terrorize as well on to three. They're all Fatal Bonded together. Chalice trying to chase. Can they kill him off in time? S4 also caught under fire, falling to the grave. That was such a dangerous fight for EG. The second that Chain Frost dissipated, they lose out on the big edge on that fight. Chalice the one in the forefront, pressing forward. This is what they want, deeper in. And they find the Torrent. They found their man, a double kill for Somnus. They're all in the grave right now as the Tier 3 tower is going to be assaulted. And it changes just like that. The in danger of the Luna. Yes, you can buy back on the Spectre, but what can you achieve without the Haunt? It's coming back now, but it's too late. And the tier three tower down. It is now barracks that are falling. They have buybacks on two of their heroes, but this could potentially be another tier three tower. Oh, the only answers they could have had in that last fight. Maybe a big steal or something from Crit. There's so much pressure on this Rubik, but they walks forward yet again. The terrorize is out. It's there. The fear, the catch. Is it going to be the kill? They take him down. Sumail, no buyback for 65 seconds. Crit wanting to turn this. He throws back the Wraith Fire Blast. Chain Frost bouncing around a little bit, but Arteezy, he went for Ame, couldn't find him. S4 trying to leap away, but he's only going back to the fountain. LGD smell blood. They're going in, maybe pressing forward. And they find themselves the kill. FY able to take himself another fly, lifted up in the air by the torrent. EG, last heroes left alive. It's a blade mill from Arteezy trying to stem the bleeding, but it's not happening. Another in the grave. EG all out of focus, in trouble, and inside their base. This is looking like it's going to be it as Sumail. Last one alive for the team, dead again. And GG, LGD are moving on to the grand finals. GD just looking like the better team today. A fantastic draft. The Warlock guarding the Luna, giving themselves a great chance there, moving forward. A couple slip-ups there at the beginning, couldn't quite find their footing, but once this ball got rolling, EG just couldn't stop it. There you have it. The winners make their way out to hand shake hands with EG. What a fantastic run by them, though. I mean, coming into this tournament, amazing they even gained the respect of being one of the top contenders here with such a short formation time. That's why I feel the love from the crowd. Absolutely fabulous story for both of these organizations and a top three finish with EG. But that does mean LGD have a date with Destiny in the grand finals. So we head back to our panel. Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. There we have it. We have our two finalists and PSG LGD move on to the grand finals. Of